Hello everyone, this is my frog room. This is my Dendrobate Truncatus. As you can see, one guy way up at the top. These are very neat frogs. I have pitcher plants, uh, a couple of orchids in here, nice begonia, some uh, um, opossum tail ferns, a uh, very, very nice tank. Next, I have my Dendrobate Leucomelis. As you can see, one of the guys right there. And outside the hut. I have um, a chocolate Luke also, as you can see him over here. And I have uh, a couple of nice plants, some salaginellas, a couple of Korean rock ferns, some nice foliage plants. There is um, also the nominate Luke, the um, three types in here, uh, British Guiana, nominate, and chocolate. Next, I have my Oranatomia Imitator Terrapodos, as you can see him hopping up there. These are from the understory line. I have a nice uh, elephant ear plant with some bromeliads and a um, nice climbing pink plant. Right here I have my Delphabetes quinquivitatus, as you can see him climbing up the back. Back there. I have a nice Calithia in here. I have some um, bromeliads and a nice climbing plant. Next I have my uh, Ranatomia ventrimiculata Akitos. That's their tank. Hopefully, I can get a nice view of the Akitos. They haven't been out today. Anyway, I have a nice pink plant with a heart leaf fern and a bunch of bromeliads on the wood. I have a uh, button fern in the back. Very nice tank. Coming over here are my. Ufagna Pumilio Salarte, as you can see there. I have two of those. Um, the other guy is light orange, and he is very, very neat. I got him at Frog Day. And that's their tank. I have some bromeliads, a couple of orchids in there, a nice aluminum plant, and a calathea in the back. Um, these are definitely one of my favorite frogs out of any of um, the ones that I have. Beautiful colors. Next, I have a peppery. You can see him right there. Nice frog and make a peppery. And they are a pair, and that's the other peppery. And this is a pair of these beautiful frogs. I have a aluminum plant along with a begonia with some uh, Korean rock ferns and some salaginellas and a nice uh, um, jewel orchid and there's the other guy over there there's that guy very nice frogs and then we have um, my Epidobates tricolor. You can see him. He's been the guy who's been calling the whole time. Have um, a couple of bromeliads in here with some uh, with a jewel orchid and a nice big leaf plant in the front and a couple of ferns. Over here, I have my Dendrobates tinctorius olimari. You can see him back there. And they're in with the Lamasi. That's their tank. I have a nice pitcher plant 
a couple of ferns, um, a bromeliad, and a peperomia up top, and a different kind of peperomia, peperomia on the bottom next to the piece of wood. Coming down here, I have my Agolikinus Kelly dress, as you can see there. Over here, I have my Ufagna Pumilio ba uh, Bastimentos. As you can see, the female right there on the water dish. Very nice frogs. I also have a male in here. He's in the back. Right there. And that's the female. I have a bunch of bromeliads in here with some orchids, along with some Korean rock ferns, a couple of foliage plants, a heartly fern, and a, a, a foliage plant, along with a begonia. These are my first thumbnail that I ever had, um, and they are still my favorite thumbnail. Um, definitely one to buy for any frog person, collector, breeder. Anybody, they are so charismatic, bold, and with, um, despite their small size, um, they are rarely hiding. They are almost always out. Over here, I have my Phyllobates terribilis, which is the most poisonous frog in the world, in the wild, as you can see there. These are captive bred poison dart frogs, so none of them are poisonous. And, uh, that's their tank. I have a couple of uh, begonias in there, uh, a couple of foliage plants, along with a um, creeping fig in the back and an elephant ear. I have a pitcher plant up top and a couple of Korean rock ferns. Next, I have my matecho tank. As you can see, the matecho up there. I have two of them. And we have some mushrooms in there. Which is pretty neat because we didn't have to grow those. These actually came on their their own. I have a nice, um, unique plant, a disc disc plant, with some salmonella in there, and a couple of different kinds of ferns, along with a nice pitcher plant. And those are very charismatic frogs, also. Coming over here, I just have an empty tank for future frogs that I get. Over here. I have my blue sipple weenie. You can see him over there. Also now known as New River Sipple Weenie. I have a nice pink leaf plant with a bunch of ferns in there. And there's the sipple weenie there. And a beautiful creeping fig uh, along with a stagnant pond. And over here, I have another empty tank for a future frog with a couple of creeping figs in there, a bunch of foliage plants, and some ferns. And last but not least, the Mantella ibanawi and Mantella levigata, which is the leaf Mantella and the climbing Mantella. I have a nice medallion uh, Calathea and some creeping fig in there along with a couple of ferns. And this has been my frog room. So I'll just do a complete view of the frog room. All of the tanks. Very, very cool frogs. And over here are some of my pictures that I have. Um, my tricolor calling and even uh, sorry, a uh, matecho, a uh, chocolate Luke, um, the new uh, the new river sipolini, and the terrapoto imitator. And I also like to make a shout out to Black Jungle Terrarium Supply who has provided some very good advice on all my frogs. Um, they own the Black Jungle Terrarium Supply retail store. Um, I suggest buying from them. Um, Richard and Mike know a lot and are very helpful. 
on keeping captive bred dart frogs. So I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.